Good afternoon, everyone. Today is the 115th weekly live stream brought to you by Otterbox. Why not? <laughs> Autobox? No. Uh... Guaranteed free otters shipped to your household. <laughs> it's... Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you have a lot of food and water for your otter. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I fixed the head a little bit. It's an <laughs> utterly weird gift. <laughs> Boo. Boo. Yes. The stream. We did the stream. Welcome. Uh, today we got an alley claw. Hello. Who appears to be an alley corn. Oh, yes. <laughs> she is ascended now. <laughs> the plushy kingdom will rise. Oh. <laughs> and we got Princess Fluffy's Eye of the Fluff Fluff. I'm her second in command. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> so there, there's me. Uh, I'll then... also be doing the job of our third in command who can't be here today because she's on an airplane. You know what? It's actually the 116th weekly live stream. I forgot <gasps> to update the number. So I lied, and the you weekly stream have the lies. Gaming errors that people complain about on Equestria Daily. And your girlfriends. Yep, this, <laughs> this is what my life will be now. It will forever be wrong. <laughs> this, uh, this is actually the 116th. <laughs> So, uh, today we have submissions by people and submissions not by people. Well, we think they're robots. By robots? Yes. Oh, great. They, they finally made their, their art bots. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, same deal as always. If you have art, please submit it now. And if you don't have art, please offer high fives and fluff. Yeah. And contribute, yeah. possibly sacrifices. Candy sacrifices. <laughs> Sacrifice. <laughs> so first up we got fluffy's eyes picture because he's here Yay. and he submitted it see how this yeah. works first come first serve <laughs> <laughs> oh submit right before the stream starts first set <laughs> as long as you're here i'm just gonna, I'm just gonna see cupid's case's job stop fluffing so fluffy uh any questions about your picture before we i'm just trying to okay so uh it's a commission um i join a stallion on top uh just sort of leaning behind the mare leaning over her uh leg rests on her shoulder and uh, just trying to get the anatomy body right um because the posing is kind of a difficult one uh and just fix any any blatant uh anatomy errors really is the mare is supposed to be shorter than him. Um, well, I, to, uh, I think so. I typically draw, would draw stallions a little bit taller anyway, um, just slightly. So so he's kind of leaning down. Oh yeah, maybe her leg needs to be more bent. His arms like that. If her, maybe if her leg is bent, would that work? Yeah. Mhm. Mm uh -huh. And I would even have, um, actually, instead of the body having the back up here, I would have the body arch down more. It's gonna oh, look less. That looks a bit more natural, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I see. Then he's like here and then going like here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because like you get more of a feeling of like climbing on top of and kind of hugging. <laughs> yeah. L legs are not my specialty though. The back ones probably look definitely look very weird. This back one's like horrible. I think I'd take this arm and actually. Like try and bring his body down with it. Oh yeah. That's gonna help you lower it down without. Yeah. Actually. That could work. Yes. Race, race, race. Race. Looking at like where it's sitting on her. <laughs> yeah. Take away that. Whoa! I have started to be doing more like bendy, uh, more flexible looking hooves and legs and stuff lately. So this works. Go for the neck. Were you, you going to say something early? No, it was just a. Just being a silly call. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should his his other leg here? Because this other one at the back here is his leg. Should that be like more more outwards, or is that fine being like straight down? Well, if you're gonna. I think so. Sorry, go ahead. 
uh, I was I was just gonna say since he needs to pretty much be as tall as he can be, probably as straight as the leg can be would be the best yeah. option because that'll be the maximum length like, he can push yeah. up. And like to the back a little bit just to keep that plane that uh, distance. Oh, I can't get the hoof to not look look weird. <laughs> That's okay. It's not about making it look right on this program. Yeah. Which is a, a hard thing to do. <laughs> what? This is a high-level art program. I don't see what the problem is. <laughs> very huge hoof. Alright, Gren. <laughs> Mega hoof. <laughs> uh, beyond that... I feel like the legs are weird. We're missing this, and we're missing one of these. <laughs> the ears! We're missing one of these. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't even gotten to to his mane or tail or the tails or anything yet, but yeah, her ear is missing. Like, because I was just focused on the bodies, I haven't even gotten to the tails yet. And I need some blush. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, and of course, uh, this, is, this is all wrong. Let's rub this out. It needs to be, needs to be way fluffier. Oh, definitely a little blip going on. Yep, yep. <laughs> he looks quite sad, I'm going to be honest. The way you've done oh, his right. expression. Oh, the, the stallion. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you got like these side sad eyebrows going on here. Yeah, that's that's the point. I'm still been doing some eyebrow experiments lately. Like, I had one yesterday of spirit. I was trying to, I was talking to Ali about, and I was trying not to make him look sad. Like it's it's like I have the feeling you're trying to do like a doll kind of face, like oh she's so cute, kind of yeah that, yeah like, calm. yeah. Fluttershy, just think Fluttershy. <laughs> she doesn't. She doesn't take off the top of the eye, she takes off the corner. Okay, so go, so go a long bit and then that. i never seen, i never directly seen that, maybe I just wasn't paying attention. I didn't know that you can like, just take out a little corner. I always totally try to go can. from the, from the, from the point. Mm -hmm. Anything is possible, because you're drawing make-believe horses. <laughs> or maybe, may, maybe it's less think about Fluttershy as a uh, example and more think about Fluttershy and then invoke the response of our face <laughs> and then like, use that. Get the mirror out, think about Fluttershy, boom, you're yes. good to go. <laughs> hmm. uh, and then it's just trying to figure out his mane, which is particularly the side bit that's difficult, but I just need to, need to ingest the references of the characters. One of those commissions where like they don't have a they just have a couple of pictures they don't really have like a direct reference or anything and they're like slightly different in each of the pictures <laughs> as is tradition but they uh they're cute anyway so whatever <laughs> all right i do like that their head interacts with the main that's good yes quite often you'll just see main head no interaction <laughs> between that um, I'm gonna get her squashed down into hit into his face without it looking like too short or anything. I think you can figure it out. I believe in you. Yeah. Yes. Woohoo! I've got the zombie face. <laughs> <laughs> you Thank got any you other questions should, about this? That, you know that should be it. Thank you very much. No problem. Ah, I'm interested to see how adorable it is when it's done. Yes. <laughs> So let's move on over to Rob 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 That's a lot of Is that the ship between Rob 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 Rob? Yes. That's what happens when Rob 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 multiply exponentially. And then their kids are Rob Rob Rob. Oh my god. And then you ship them. You know the Russians were shipping Rarity long before that? They even wrote a song about it. Rob Rob Rasputin. <laughs> I, I knew you were going to go there. 
The second you said a song in Russian, that was Rara. <laughs> All right. So this one is posted by Catastrophe26. Ah, I didn't even do Anyway, it's posted by Catastrophe26. <laughs> uh, and they said, was inspired by a drawing you found on Pinterest, or I found on Pinterest. Couldn't come up <laughs> with a background, though. Uh, so, so here's the deal. The picture's actually Tumblr. Come on, not Pinterest. That's a repost. <laughs> no, but really. Usually, usually Pinterest sometimes, if you click it, will give you the original source. Not always, but yeah, try to just use Google Image Search and find the original. It's mm. always better. Because yeah, we're doing. And then you get to scroll through the rest of their art for hours on end, because they have a pretty good Tumblr and they have a very good Deviant Art. Uh, the artist is Eight Xenon Eight. And they're freaking adorable art. Uh, yeah, I follow them on Tumblr. They're super great. I don't actually follow them on Tumblr because I do a lot of reposting and just chatting. Yeah, it's one of those things where it's like their mod blog is their art blog, and I kind of wish they were separate. But... Yeah. Yeah. But I just follow their DA for it's that. It's worth one. it for the cute. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, we're we're talking this horse and how it relates to this horse, so. So one thing uh, we'd like to say, we, we went and looked at the reference because you said, hey, this is based off something else. Um, there's a heck of a lot of similarity going on here, like same pose, same design. The difference is proportioning and general uh, things like the mane in that. Uh, Our lovely Alicor here went and directly superimposed them, so we, we, we've seen it's not, it's not a trace. Yes. We know that much. Yes. But there's just so many similarities that it's there. There you can do things. It, it's less inspired at this point with so many similarities. It's a, pretty much a copy, which so, is not bad. It's good for studying. Yes. But it's not something you can be like, hey, yeah. Because we we often talk uh, about how useful it is to uh, to to trace or copy. Uh, references to for the sake of studying so yes tra tracing can be an important learning tool as well sometimes you just can't figure out that hand and then you trace it and then you sort of look at what you've got neaten it up and you know you, you can actually learn a little bit that way but only so much you know and uh, copying can take you a lot further albeit a bit, it's a bit harder to do sometimes but it's uh it's really as long as it's just for a learning tool you know because because uh, you're basically recreating someone else's work uh, rather than making something straight from scratch so it is just for the sake of studying and it can be very useful um, but it's uh, the, I think the best thing to do with something like this if you're directly studying from an idea or a reference is to, to draw an entirely different pose and to use that reference uh, kind of abstractly to recreate that into something new and then you are creating an original piece of art and mm -hmm. in doing so you're not allowing yourself the reprieve of just copying exactly where every line goes. You are kind of forcing yourself to work it out, and then that will just that will help you learn it so much better. Yeah. And you don't have to just have one reference. I'll throw that out there too. Like you can have oh, this yeah, as a reference, absolutely. and then like three other poses that you kind of mush together to make a new pose. You know. Mm. And like you could have this as like the exact design and stylization, and have a completely different mm -hmm. style, and just like you, you use the pose of this one, you know. But you're trying to work out that pose with this character and this character's anatomy and proportions. Mm -hmm. Totally. Um, but let's talk about this picture now, as opposed to anyway. Um, Let's let's talk about how you can improve what you've done here. So we aren't going to talk about the posing in that. Let's talk about the the technical skills shown. So yes. there seems to be some issues when it comes to line weight. Now, as I understand, you're drawing on an iPad Pro, as far as I can tell. Um, total pressure sensitivity is there. Yeah, you have some great drawing programs. Depending on which one you're using, you're going to have a heck of a lot of control over what your brush is, equal to what you'd get on any... Uh, PC based uh, art program so we can't really say the programs at fault unless you're using something really bizarre um, but that being said 
things like the weight of the lines in the mane and the tail compared to the weight of the lines in the body, and the, the legs, uh, be careful about them. There's a few ways of using line weights. One of my favorite ones is using line weights to, sh to show emphasis. Things like uh, mane and tail generally aren't used or, or thinner lines to give it a more delicate look to try and take emphasis off of it so we can bring em emphasis over towards a different area on the subject. Um, things like the face, the eyes, that sort of area, you'd start using a little heavier line weight to try and bring the, it over there. Uh, in this case, it appears as though it might have just been a completely different brush chosen because we can see that it changes how it's how it's actually pre uh, performing for those. So be careful when it comes to that. Um, my suggestion is go with the smaller brush to start and work your way up into those line weights. If it takes multiple strokes, who cares? You can do it. It's digital. It's not like it's going to have a prom erasing it. Mm -hmm. um, and abuse that pressure sensitivity. You got something like 2,000 levels of pressure sensitivity on that iPad pen. Use it. Use it completely. Look what Ali Claw just did. Light to heavy, and you get all sorts of different line weights. And this is on a really crappy program, too. <laughs> oh, yeah, this thing, this thing's bad. But it shows. <laughs> uh, beyond that, uh, things like the main. When we're, when we're trying to build up a mane and try and bring some sanity to the insanity that is a magical prancing horse with colorful butt tattoos, <laughs> um, <laughs> we, we want to try and ask, why would, the, why would it be like this? So the front of this hair right here, we, we have this bunch that has fallen off forward and then come on down and just sort of like came off the body as though it's uh, elastic or held by a wire or gelled extremely. Um, you aren't going to get this in nature. You aren't going to get it in most things, even some like magical, mystical people who somehow manage to style their hair at 80 kilometers an hour in the wind. You aren't going to get that. Um, what, what you want to try and do is ask, how is, the, how is gravity going to affect it, and how is this a body? So when pulling it off to the side, we're going to go, well, it's, it's attached to the top part of the head, so it must just be pulled down. And we get a sort of shape like that, where it's still coming off the body. It's not reaching out off the body. It's flowing off of it. I hope that makes a bit of sense. Yeah, and I just drew this little head dissection here, because if you look at the original reference, um, that rarity redesign, the hair actually comes out like a mohawk. It doesn't like swoop over to the side. It comes out like a mohawk from the center of the head. And that's why you get such a nice flow in the image, the reference you have, versus why the, also the flow is interrupted here. All right, that's about all I got for this. I wanna see your next drawing and I wanna see Preferably something that's used multiple references to come up with something unique for you. Mm, yes. And we know your last Pinkie Pie one was more unique than this. Uh, you said you used a reference, which is great. References are magical. Use them. But we want to see something from you, not something from yeah. another artist. So do more. That's how you get better. Keep trying. Art, art, art. We can't wait to see more art from you. And while Torsen, Tarson finds their art, we're gonna scroll on down to the next picture. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Scrolling every day. So this one is a little pip, and it's uh, from Risen Warrior, and it's Drew Little Pip from FOE, Violet Equestria. How'd I do? I say it would look like Little Pip. I see under sketching. That makes me happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that alley eye, eagle eye. It's like, yes. <laughs> Spotted. Loved it under sketching. So, good, good stuff. So you always under sketch. Seriously. <laughs> it's always, always important. Do it light if you really hate seeing the lines. 
then it's easy to erase. Or even better, grab grab a liner, and do it up with lines, like inked lines when you're done. And when you take the picture, you, you get to reduce the contrast and those light lines will completely disappear. Mm -hmm. So proportions. I think that's your weakness going on here. Your lines are nice and smooth. Um, I don't see I don't see any signs of you know non swooshing. You seem to have good control over your pencil. That's yeah, good. Very, that's actually very nice for a pen for a pencil lightning. <sighs> Our damn fighting words. <laughs> huh? pencils, pencils are great. So good. No, I mean like compared to the crap that I do. <laughs> oh, okay. That's fair. <laughs> well, first of all, <laughs> I can just imagine you in the just the pose, like a, a finger up, like excuse me. <laughs> but um, yes, I do have to agree with Zomzom. -Zom. The proportions feel kind of all over the place. Um, like the neck feels really long, and like looking at where you have your chest circle, your chest is rather low. Like if I were to just draw up in the corner here, like here's a head. You know, we got we want to have the neck and the chest. The chest is not as low as you think it would be for a pony. It kind of just comes around and beams mm. itself. It's still a few millimeters like longer than a movie neck. The mo the movie ponies have much longer necks. Um, mm -hmm. It's still a little bit, a little bit long. Um, I don't know. I mean, I think alternatively, uh, I think it's a matter of perspective and proportion here. Uh, if you made the neck shorter here, that would work. Alternatively, if you make the legs longer, that would work because then you're you're generally increasing everything to a taller, uh, to a taller proportion as opposed to right now the leg the neck is quite long compared to the legs. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Jelly bean, jelly bean does whatever jelly bean can. Yeah, like these these red circles Zom Zom's drawing. This definitely feels way more in proportion with the head. And if I do this. And little Pip was that a small can work horse. The other way, mm -hmm. so it's 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 sort of a matter of choice, I think. It depends if you want to make the neck shorter, which at this point would be very difficult because you'd have to redraw the entire head or the entire body, or um or you know draw just it again. change it the next time you More draw practice. a picture. Um, yeah. yeah, or you increase the the legs. I had something good going there, and I lost it. Yeah. Um, because if you do that, like I said, it, it, it's sort of a ratio thing. Uh, and I am terrible at back legs, but that's a... Oh, Zom Zom moved the entire thing. There we go. Like a punk. <laughs> Who do you think you are? Because I, I personally prefer having taller ponies to shorty squat ones, but they both can be perfectly fine and perfectly adorable. It just depends on how you do it. There's small thing I'd say watch out for. You got a little, just a little bit of a poop tail happening coming out the back here. Mm -hmm. If we look at like the under sketch, right out there. Yeah. PSA. We do it's a little <laughs> bit more sort of overlap on the, on the tail here. There we go. So little Pip was also described as having only a short poofy tail. Yeah. Well, you can. Uh, I have. See any fallouts, the question stuff, but where is my what? eraser? That is not a eraser. That is not a eraser. Flip a desk. I'm... I was drawing the, that tail on the one there. Book owner of Quest or Fallout. I haven't read the printed one because the pages are way too thin for me to want to read. It'll melt. You just try it. it. <laughs> and then I saw some that of the prices on paper. eBay and I'm scared of touching it. I just, <laughs> I just don't like. Uh, post-apocalyptic stuff myself and we're supposed to be pr pr promoting the new um uh the new pony finder game there's like an entire like post it's basically fallout equestria the the fantasy rpg so go check out that <laughs> but I, I i probably won't join in the game just because i just really don't think i'd adapt well to that setting oh it's good though i don't want to see ponies in that kind of environment i'm sorry <laughs> i love them too much they're too they need to be protected and it's harder to do that in like post apocalyptic world. 
But yeah, um, I guess all in all, please, please draw more. Draw again. Don't feel like you need to correct the drawing. Draw it again because it's only going to get you more practice. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, yeah, I think you're coming along greatly because the lines are lovely, nice, solid lines. Just the proportioning needs some adjustment. Yeah. You've really, you're really doing something, something good so far. Just need a little bit of refinement. Heck, I need that at the moment. That's what I'm, I'm changing up my style at the moment. So like everything just needs to be refined a lot. So that, you know, that's that's nothing to be ashamed of. It's going to happen to everyone. So sometimes you just need to work on tightening things. It's fine. Yeah. All right, uh, we're waiting for Tarsten to submit. Uh, anyone else who has art, please feel free to submit. It's been a kind of quiet that. week. Yes. We saw no fan art posted from the latest episode. Mm. Well, to be it fair, it was just horse. <laughs> <laughs> I saw I saw some art on like Derby Bar and stuff, just not anything submitted to us. We want to see your arts. Wait, I thought Earth Day already passed. What? When is Earth Day? Guys, when is Earth Day? April 22nd, I, I believe. Uh, what is it? It's a day you shut off your light for an hour and go, ha ha, I love the Earth. Things. Pretend we care. Or at uh, least. Figure out something people. to do without my computer for an hour. It's very. I remember. <laughs> I remember during the summer, the Nickelodeon channel would have a day of play where. They would not show cartoons for the entire day to encourage kids to go outside and play. Aw, that's nice. <laughs> and then they switched to Cartoon Network. <laughs> <laughs> we, I mean... The idea, the idea is nice. <laughs> but yeah, I mean... But you can here with art, you know, you can combine it. You can go outside in the sunshine at least once summer comes around and it stops snowing where Ali is, and uh, <laughs> and stops raining where I am. And you can go out in the sun and sit with a sketchbook and draw and That's get a sore neck. <laughs> I love it despite the sore neck. Yes. And hurting eyes and wind blowing the page around. <laughs> I, I, it's a pastime. <laughs> I just remember sitting with my friends in college and like trying to weigh our books down, our sketchbooks down with like backpacks and stuff. Some of us would just have objects we'd carry with us specifically because we could use them as weights. <laughs> it's nice having art friends, Ira. <laughs> Where's that picket? Where's that picket? Show Pickets. me the money. <laughs> Oh my god. Have they Why? sent it? No. Oh. I'm but you surfing Reddit while I wait. A second. But. Oh, wait, that went to Plushy Fort. I didn't mean it to go to Plushy Fort. We hit the weaver. <laughs> Sending random things out of context to the, to, to the Plushy Voice console. chat. Found my next car. Perfect. Oh, I hope you drive to Bernie Look Town. Would you imagine the fuel economy? <laughs> Four. <laughs> Is this watercolor? Can you imagine just like driving up <laughs> like McDonald's or something? <laughs> just throw it up. Look down, you go get like the shades and you take the shades off. Oop. Well, oh, they close down every window somehow. Let me fix womp, this. Womp. Bump, bump. Ooh, they're posting it on their Facebook. Ooh. You get a Facebook official. This is what you pay for. All right, so let's talk this horse. Cute. Adorable. I approve of the cute levels they are mm. sufficient i agree <laughs> that wood table it looks good nice finish on it i'm not seeing <laughs> any scuffing the shine is so believable yeah <laughs> i didn't even see that honestly <laughs> the surface it was placed upon <laughs> and a store border around the picture <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I, was, I was looking in the, the picture like, what table? <laughs> 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 Cute. 
if you want. <laughs> All right. So what did, what medium did you use here? Marker? Because the paper's, paper's not wrinkled like you'd get from water. Because that just I'm looks like a regular marker. eight and a half. Yeah. Copy? Because it, it's blended up towards the top. It's a nice it's marker. Blends. It's pretty nice. I didn't really know anything about coloring your pens. <laughs> Yeah, so Copic pink, and then you have, like, Crayola blue. And then sometimes... The blue, the blue is, like, very stark contrast compared to the pink. Very, very heavy-weighted color. But I don't know if it's just because it's, like, the, the pens you're using, and it's not, like, the color you intended. Shoo, shoo. Oh. Or it's maybe it's even just like, the light, how the light came out in the picture. Sure. Supposed to be dark. Do you have the reference? That horse is movable. <laughs> yeah, I was about to about to point that alley. Yeah. The legs just, extended. Oh. That, that back leg there has a keen eyes from the alley claw. It's an easy fix. Just push it back. Chop back the leg a bit. A little and, long and compared to the rest. And give it fluff. Yes. Of we're... course. That mane is good. Look at previous person we we're critiquing art and talking about line weights. If you sub for whatever reason are still watching this, look at this. Look at the mane. Look at look at the mane. You see the points. You see you see how little areas like this very thin line weights but then the main body has l heavier line weights that's good use of line weights and even in here we have thick clumps that have thick line weights but the the lines that go into the hair become smaller and then here no lines at all <laughs> <laughs> because it's thinner detail i don't know <laughs> i think i think no lines can count as a kind of not uh, a kind of line weight for the sake of detailing it's true you've got something else to define the shape with so, is there a reason you chose to go pink body as opposed to the blue that was provided? And you can always tell it's not female because it's missing the eyelashes. <laughs> Only females are allowed to have eyelashes, okay? Exactly. You guys need to take yours off. No, I'm not into that. Although I was told I have very luscious eyelashes. <laughs> Because you steal them from the dead. That's true. <laughs> just several layers of eyelashes. <laughs> just really build up on top of each other. <laughs> um, I'm not seeing any technical issues with what you've done beyond that leg. The tail uh, looks fine. You kind of made the rump really small, but I, that's not a here or there. You could, yeah, you could increase that rump. Give it a more plump in the bump. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> maybe consider adding a line inside the ear just to indicate that it does directly fall off there, because it's an opening of an ear. Uh, and I do see two wings, so that's good. Those wings are huge, but it is a Pegasus, so why not? I like that you have the bumps of like the muscles of the wings, how they bend being slightly open. Mm hmm Your bodies are very thin though. Like that would still be a very thin body if we were to follow mm -hmm. even the neck is rather thin. That's not a negative because the like the neck body and legs are all that same sort of thinness. You just have a larger head than standard MLP, that's fine, you've made it work. It just looks a little odd. I would still increase the size of the rump just to try and weight out the head so they don't fall over every time they stand up. Mm -hmm. Maybe maybe give them a few donairs, some pizza, candy. You know, it'll help get get some weight to there. By the way, you don't actually have to add the, the fluff on drawing. I'm just doing two pencils. Yes, you do. 
<laughs> More fluff. We expect yeah, the next mandatory. the next <laughs> mission from you better be fluffed. Because <laughs> dang it, we go over this every time. Fluff. <laughs> Ender is right. The muzzle is an indicator in MLP, how they signify it. Males have three types of muzzles. Females have one, and then there's like two females with very different muzzles, but they don't count. Um, you, you have your general normal style. So you have, the, yeah. for males, you have like Big Mac, uh, Dr. Hooves, and, 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 and Butters. Uh, um, Mr. Cake. What? No, Mr. Cake uh, has a Doctor Who style. I'm trying to think of the third one. Um, I don't really know the differences. This bird one just has a merit face, I guess. <laughs> there, there's a like, more dainty one. I'm trying to remember. In, which in one. like general, when I think of like female versus male. Like this top one will make male. It's more like just sharp angles where the female is like, oh, I got a little book. So, like, they're less like a horse. Males are more like a horse, and females are less like a horse. They're definitely more cartoon to be like, I'm a cutie patootie. Coward! <laughs> 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 I really hope they submit a very fluffy picture to next week. Q-Pencil Case would love you forever. Anyone else have any art or any questions? Because we're like 37 minutes into this thing and we've completed four pictures. <laughs> we're on the ball. Let's see, I fluffed the ground, fluffed the paper, fluffed nothing uh, in the middle of the air. Uh, but that's quite fluff. The cheeks. Come on, where's the fluffy cheeks? Uh, I left it because I actually drew and I didn't want to confuse the... <laughs> Tips. I did fluff it and then I erased it again. Tips on using markers. It depends what type of marker you're using, first of all. Mm -hmm. Copics perform very differently than nearly everything else because they're the alcohol-based. Yeah, it's pretty much alcohol versus water-based markers. Versus which ones you have. Whatever, that, whatever they use for Crayola. Is that water-based? Uh, yes. Okay. Um, yes, yeah, so I would stay... St say stay away from like the standard water base they they work but they they aren't going to get you the fun type of blending and coloring and bold colors that you get from alcohol based alcohol based has the price tag attached to it but dang they're cool and when you get There's to finally more use them portable ones but yeah yeah anyway. get, the chinese knockoff ones are just are fine they're very good for getting into alcohol based markers mm -hmm. they'll for do knockoffs be copic but they still do copic like things yeah they'll get you 80 to 90 percent there yeah and that's for for starting off that's good enough because you will ruin the markers without a question <laughs> you're going to run over yeah. like a dark line and all of a sudden oh no my marker just picked up black type of thing or the thing you never expect is them drying out because you just don't click the cap enough yep <laughs> that happens <laughs> it's gonna happen and it's, it's a lot better if you let it happen to some cheap stuff that you yes. learn on than buying all, you know, dropping your $300 to get 24 Copics type of thing. Yes. <laughs> uh, so, so suggestions for using it. Light to dark. You have no other option because you cannot put light over your dark. It will not work. Uh, <laughs> Your your alcohol based ones have some blending powers. You can get the clear blenders, which can be terrifying to use because they're going to pick up color on the tips. Don't worry about it. Its function is to slowly remove that color anyway. Um, and you get to blend together colors uh, on borders, assuming you're using the right type of paper. Just standard white paper might not do it for you, uh, only because it might absorb into it. There's lighter, sort of a waxy-based uh, marker paper that doesn't eat your pens nearly as quick and is a lot easier to blend on. The problem with it is the ink goes right through it. So make sure you have something under it to avoid drawing on your pants or your nice wooden table. <laughs> <laughs> Which LD loves so much. 
I have a, I like wooden <laughs> tables. <laughs> I also I... am going to toss two YouTubers at you that heavily work with markers. One's the uh, Bailey J and the other is Draw with Jazza. They have so many tutorials. Just like so many marker tutorials. Most of their art, I know Bailey, most of her art is actually in Copic or other markers. And Jazza just, she has a lot of Copic tutorials. So did you have any other questions for us? After the delay. <laughs> and if it's Allie's address so you can send her big box of candy, that is oh. at. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, in the meantime, Allie, we did get, in case you haven't seen it yet, we did get a submission in the voice chat. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Steps ahead of you, bro. Steps ahead of you. I didn't resize this one. Oh, no. It's fine. It's fine. We'll just we'll just zoom out, <laughs> but I had to. I would have to zoom in anyway. So there, Di Levy, you're looking for help with anatomy and anything else that will help deliver a cute, sketchy style. Uh, this isn't sketchy. Yeah, I would say there. Just uh, try different tools because there are. You can get some lovely like pencils, some sort of textured pencil tools and stuff that you can use, which will help you to deliver that. Um, but I've I've actually been experimenting with sketching uh, in like pencil tools rather than my usual G pen lately. Um, you can, because yeah, this is uh, like I already said, this is digital. So any like uh, sketchy style, as style would imply, is an emulation because um, you're actually just drawing. Um, <laughs> But uh, if you want it to look more sketchy, then I would say definitely the, the G pen, you know, so smooth. That's what kind of lets it down from looking sketchy. So try like a pencil, which will have like a, a rough uh, uh, sort of granite to it. <laughs> I don't know. It will have like all the little texture. Dots. Rough it's texture. Like... <laughs> yes. I'm trying I to describe like... the texture. You do. <laughs> oh. When I, when I think of, uh, when I think of um, sketches, I think of. I'll just post it to both chats. This person, I think, they do a lot of sketches. Um, I'll post it there to you. It's, it's like very loose sketches. I feel it should be loose. They should be messy. You shouldn't hide mm. all the under sketching. Like maybe make it lighter, but don't hide it. It kind of gives that like work in progress feel where this feels like the lines are very dark and deliberate and there's no crossover nothing you know mm. it, it's it's almost like half finished yeah. and how i t i think it might be useful to share share my process a lot of the time when i'm too lazy to color something properly i end up with something that's quite sketchy and it is using using the g pen but um like like ali said these lines are very deliberate very confident and very smooth they uh when, when i when i'm sort of sketching something obviously you don't want to be sketching super confidently you'll just be like oh so there's a head you know and there's a oh, get like a oh, rub out a little bit of oh that's not working the stupid tools and it's like, okay it's now uh if it's bring this down a bit you're gonna end up with like a bit of mess to it you know so then um i don't know why the pen is going so wobbly that's really weird uh so what happens is you know that's gonna show up you know you'll have your little plus thing somewhere <laughs> uh uh, so I'll I'll have this and I'll just keep working on it, and cleaning it until I get like a finished uh, thing, and it, you can still see bits like that underneath. But oh look, you see where I had the eye before, you know. And then I'll just shove color on top of it um, or underneath it. Um, I usually color the sketch to one, make sure because I I color in multiple things so I can see better. I'll make sure it's all one color, and then I'll just make a new folder underneath and just shove the colors on. So you can kind of still see the sketching, even though it's in like a G pen, it still looks sketchy and messy. Uh, so you might want to try. You might try something like that. Like, just don't be afraid to let some of the things you rub out still be kind of visible. Mm -hmm. Let it be messy. Embrace the mess. The mess is what makes sketches so awesome because there's usually so much movement to them. And the other thing, it's like there's always the joke that like, gosh, my sketch is better than the line art. <laughs> There's, with how many lines you see in the sketches, how many, like, maybe you tried this curve, like, two or three times, and your brain sees it as awesome because you have these two or three lines to look at to combine and to see between. So it feels like there's more movement. It feels like it's, because it feels more correct because it's more vague. When you have line art, it's like, this is the line. There is no other thing. This is line. 
done and done. Yeah. But uh, I think that's the main thing, you know, sketches are messy, so don't be afraid of the mess if you want it to look like a sketch. Yeah, and I think it'd even look better if you let yourself mess with the lines a bit, because I see you went messy with the color, which is awesome, and I think the messy lines would only help that even more. Because right now it just feels like messy coloring on nice lines. But otherwise, I mean, I think it's cute. It's a nice, simple picture. I would just say, do, do, let yourself looser, you know? Be messy. And don't be afraid to, like, correct yourself. It doesn't need to be clean, but you can still, like, oh, I have just a little bit I'm going to smudge out here with an eraser. Or, like, yeah, like, you, uh, you, you can, definitely, you can correct a few things. You can still undo and do something at a single swooshy stroke rather than doing you don't need to de basically you don't need to deliberately do something messy just mm -hmm. uh you know do it whatever way feels natural just don't let yourself overcorrect because i know that's a thing yeah yeah spending it's, it's too long erasing something versus just letting it letting it have its mess <laughs> <laughs> I wish more artists would be messy, because I know it's always like the, oh, I gotta draw perfect pencil lines when I'm first starting out, or else it's bad. Yeah. It's like, oh, that's how you make stiff things. You gotta let yourself find the motion. It's like... Yeah. Yesterday. I wish I was less less method, method, methodical when I started and more able to just throw out wonderful, sketchy things like that uh, reference totally. that Ali posted. Because um, that, that's great, and if I was doing something as loose as that, I would just I would have been set, you know? <laughs> So, uh, like, definitely do something like that where it's just, you can just throw something out and doodle something. So I'm trying to retroactively learn that now, you know? <laughs> so, we yeah. have a PSA from Cute Pencil Case that um, everyone's art here needs more fluff. This is the general critique everyone will receive. Um, <laughs> congratulations, you'll receive the critique. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Well then, anyone else have anything? Put last chance to submit if you do want something critique. I will see your sketch dump. Not really any use to critiquing that, but we'll look at it. Yeah. Is there no harm in sharing something with us. Generally, generally, what we look for in critique is. Um, you know, a, a semi-finished product, like I've been working hard on this and I have some questions about how I can improve or what I can do better. Mm. Sketch dumps are, hey, I'm just pounding out some things to try and work stuff out. Yeah, or if you have a sketch, even if it's not, not anywhere close to being semi-finished, if you have a sketch that you're honestly trying to work on and you're just kind of stuck on it, uh, then by all means we'll have a look at it. More to iron out specific problems you have than rather like and just, oh yeah, this picture's nice, you know? <laughs> yeah. Because we love to look at things, but um, just for the sake of critiquing, there's not much point if there's nothing we can really critique. Mm -hmm. We can't just it... magically say, oh, if you do this, by the way, it'll just suddenly make your pictures amazing if they're already great. Like, there needs to be something. Sorry, Ali. You know what? You know what it makes me think of? It's like baking brownies. There's like, oh, I made it from the box, what do you think, can you tell me how I could do better? Or, hey, I made these from scratch, what do you think, can you tell me how I can do better? Mm. Like, the box is the box, you're just, you're doing your thing, you're pounding out, getting stuff out there. You're trying, don't get me wrong, everyone tries when they sketch it. Yeah. Art is a constant, like, mental <laughs> workout, <laughs> no matter what you're doing. But, like, there's definitely more times when I know I put more thought into stuff, or when I'm just, like, kind of warming up and just drawing what I can. It's not really I'm aiming for being perfect. I'm just trying to draw. 
Yeah, absolutely. Well, plenty of times you draw, some, you're, you're drawing, and you're not really looking for something that you're gonna throw for critique. You're just yeah, you want to do something. Not every picture needs critique. Exactly. Which is why on the MLPDS, absolutely don't feel if, if you're in our Discord, don't feel afraid to just throw pictures for just for the sake of sharing. That we, we don't critique everything that we look at. As much as you might think that, as we do that every week. <laughs> <laughs> but I have to say, a lot of cute Fluttershy eyes and good mains. I like your mains. <laughs> Fluffy balloons creeping you out. They they probably should. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. Uh, thank you all for coming. And same thing as next year. Or next week? Wow, year. That's a year. long time. Wow. Uh, <laughs> guys, we're no, we're not having that much of a break. <laughs> we don't get that kind of uh, rest. <laughs> Ain't no rest for the wicked. <laughs> Thank you all, and we'll see you again next week. Bye. Don't be afraid to bring art at the beginning of the stream. Be like, hey, you know you want to critique this before you critique that schmuck's picture who posted on the <laughs> subreddit. Oh. <laughs> Throwing that, down. That, be, that, be, that being said, please submit what to us to our subreddit. Right yeah, we we take both. We just have a a hierarchy. <laughs> yeah, people here? here get to see their art done because they're waiting for it. Also, then we can make you answer questions. Answer oh, yeah. for your mistakes. If they, if they leave before we get to the picture, that'd be upsetting. That happens though. <laughs> Drive by artings. <laughs> Hello. Hello.